Good morning, interwebs. It is just a touch after four in the afternoon, and I feel like I'm breaking the rules because I came outside. Uh, it is much, much warmer than it appears. Like it looks like it should be like foggy and cool, and it's actually pretty warm. I mean, the the breeze is cool, but the air itself is just warm and muggy. It's very pretty though. But I slept in till like 11:45-ish which means I'm really sleeping in, but it's sleeping in later than I've been sleeping. There was like a massive rainstorm this morning. I mean, it rained like all night and then it just was coming down hard. But I pulled the curtains back because I wanted to see the rain and it was giant drops really hard and it's starting to rain again. So we're gonna go back inside. But I got up and um, <laughs> came downstairs and the kids were like, <gasps> mom it should be a pajama day and i said all right because they were all still in their pajamas and steve was wearing his clothes from running he hadn't taken a shower yet and stuff so rather than get dressed and take a shower and do my hair and stuff i put on my my cat hat and um i'm just hunkered down in my pjams as we all are and everybody's enjoying that and then steve after lunch took or before lunch took a shower and put on his pajamas and so everybody's jammed up. It's much cooler in our house than it is outside, which is good because it, it was gross out there and now it's wet out there. But since I put on my cat hat, then my son commented on whether or not I'd finished his owl hat for Halloween, which is made in a similar style. So now the uh, the body of the hat is is done and then he decided he does want a beak and eyes. So there's the beak and now I'm going to make the eyes and then by the end of today, his owl hat should be done. Um, made lunch, been doing some school stuff, and just puttering around. I think today is going to be super, super low-key. In fact, they already informed me of that. Like, Today's a low-key day. I'm like, okay. So, pajama day, low-key day, rainy day. That's all good. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think we're just going to try and keep Kuma <laughs> from getting too wet as it was raining. So he said, I just thought, I'm so glad my dog isn't outside in this. So... I will try and let Kuma out when there are breaks in the rain, and hopefully he's not going to get all muddy and wet. But he seems pretty pretty happy there on the floor right now. So, okay, going to go and edit the vlog from yesterday so that you all can see it. Well, it is like 3.50ish in the morning. It's been about 12 hours since I've talked to you. I don't know how that happened. I felt like I, well, I guess I talked to you in other capacities. I felt like I talked to you. Sorry. So what have I done this evening? Well, right now I have some tomato paste in the canner and then I've actually I've been sitting here whoop, turning bag handles. Yep, because I was sewing tonight. I also filmed a yarn tails video. So if you're interested in that, that's over on the Hooked by Happenstance channel. It's the series where I read books and then I tell you about them and I make a shawl. Kind of all about it. So I... Whoop, I'm knocking my thread on the ground is what I'm doing. Okay. I uh, I sewed a new kind of bag tonight. Let's turn the light on so you can see. So I can see. So we can all see together. So I made two of them. I posted a picture of one on Instagram. So this is the bag inside out. And... So I had had a bunch of table runners that I had made for sale at craft shows in years past. And I had a bunch that are cut out and partially done but are not finished. And I was like, there has to be a way that I can make these into nice drawstring bags. And I did! So this is what it looks like. And it has the, the double drawstring. So when you pull on the edges... You get a nice, uh, nice drawstring effect, and the uh, the bottom is nice and wide. This bag will actually fit three skeins of commercial yarn, and here is the second one that I've made. This is in kind of Halloweeny colors, and as you can see, the Jezebel, go away, please. So as you can see, the uh, the sides have this kind of little uh, look to them. And the inside is actually, you're going to see, everything's fully encased, but you do see the seam, but it's fully encased. And that is because of the way that the bags are constructed. But I think that they're 
They're super nice and functional, and I'm excited to make some drawstring bags because I haven't done that before. So that'll be something new that will be added to the shop when I do my update on Monday at noon central time. There'll be an update on the Hooked by Happenstance shop on Etsy, and it will have some of these drawstring bags in them. These are the large drawstrings, I think is what I'm calling them. And I haven't exactly set a price point, but they will be very affordable, as are all my other bags. And then I've been working on these zipper bags, which I have all of the, the fabric that I showed you that I cut out the other day. And I was sewing handles together, and then I was just turning them all, which makes my little hand turn into a little claw. So, ooh, it popped. Anyways, I'm gonna go and um, probably do just a little bit of crocheting on Mom's cardigan. I did some this evening while we were doing other things. Do a little bit of that while I wait for my canner to be done, and when the canner is done, then I will go to bed. And I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night. You'll say goodnight, Jezebel. Nighty night.